Hey everyone, it's Ken with Ken's Creations, proudly designing for Paper Piecings by Nikki. Well, if you saw my last video, we showed you how using Nikki's scrapbooking kits, we designed this bath time fun scrapbooking layout. When we did this, we did a traditional 12 by 12 layout using our Silhouette Studio software. We imported the images as an SVG file into our studio software, and then we cut it using our favorite pattern or solid paper, did our shading, and then of course using glue or 3D foam dots, put it on our layout. This is a great scrapbooking page because everything's done for you. The designing, the sizing, and where it should go is all done. And it took me about an hour to do. However, one of the great things about Nikki's designs is when you import these into your studio software, you also have the ability to do a print and cut feature on all of her designs. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create one of these layouts using the print and cut feature of the Silhouette Cameo. For today's demonstration, we're going to be using this Easter Blessings layout. So find whatever layout you want to do. You can find these layouts by going to the website www.ppbndesigns.com and over on the left side, where it says categories, you'll see scrapbook page kits you can cut, and there you're going to see all of the layouts. And Nikki's adding layouts every single week, so definitely check back. I have all the layouts right now, currently, um, but as you can see, my little buddy was just recently added. So for today, we're going to go ahead and download this Easter Blessings. Now, I've already downloaded this item. However, if I wanted to re-download this to another computer, I can go up to my account over here that I've set up and then on my account I have a completed order website and this is going to bring up all my completed orders. So if I wanted to re-download this Easter scrapbooking I could actually go through here and here it is right here and hit download files and I could re-download this. Just remember you can only download the file a total of three times. I only have one more time or one month to download this file one more time. I've already downloaded it twice because I have Silhouette Studio software on two computers. So I'm not going to download this file again. However, once you download the file, you're going to have it saved either in your downloads or your desktops. And in this case, it is in my desktop. So here's the folder. Within the folder, you're going to have a few things that we're going to be using. We have our SVG file, which is right here. That's what we're going to be importing into our studio software. And then we also have this JPEG, which is our instructions. This is a really important part of the scrapbooking layout. Nikki has taken all of the guessing work out for you. She's told you every single piece, is it the bottom, the middle, or the top, shows you where it goes, the sizing, everything's been done for you. I really, really advise printing this out and using it throughout your design so that way you have a good reference of exactly where every item goes and exactly what pieces go with what pieces. So we're going to go ahead and do that by printing this right now. Once you've printed that, we can go ahead and import our SVG file into our Silhouette Studio software. I like to create files underneath my PPBN subcategory, so I'm going to create a new folder and we're just going to call it Easter Layout. And then for me, I actually just, since I keep um, my folders all neat and know exactly where things are, I just click and drag it in. All right, so now we are ready to create our layout. So let's go ahead and start. This now to get this onto your mat, you're just going to go into your SVG file and double click it. This is going to bring it onto the mat in your Silhouette Studio software. Now, this is where um, sizing comes into play. Depending on what size of layout you're doing depends on your next steps. Nikki has already designed this for a 12 by 12 layout. So if you're doing this for a 12 by 12 scrapbook, you don't want to do anything. You're ready to go ahead and start cutting and designing and doing whatever you need. Um, keep in mind though, if you're doing a print and cut feature, if you're doing a 12 by 12 layout, you're going to need a printer that prints 12 by 12. I don't have that. It's very sad. 
if one of you wants to send me one, I will gladly accept it. Um, but it's something I'm saving up for and hopefully I will get soon. However, um, what I'm creating this project for is to go into a six by six frame that I'm going to be giving to one of my relatives for Easter. So I need to resize this. And how we're going to do that is we want to make sure that the whole item is grouped. And the reason why is we want all of the pieces to stay in ratio to each other when we resize this. So make sure that there's a box around all of the pieces. We're going to come up to this little image here where it says open the scale window. It's very important that you select this lock the aspect ratio because what that's going to do is it's going to keep the ratio of height to width, which is very important. And then I've already determined that it is 20.75 to have a six by six. So I'm just going to do my width of 20.75 and hit apply and it automatically does the height for me. I don't have to worry about that because it's keeping that ratio. Now, because I'm doing a print and cut feature, I wanna make sure my page is set up for print and cut. So we're gonna open this page layout here, which is this box with the red box inside of it. And we're gonna hit letter because I print on eight and a half by 11 cardstock. And then we wanna make sure we go over here to where it says show registration marks and click the button that says show registration marks. And as you can see on my paper, it added these gray kind of crisscross patterns. You wanna make sure none of your images go in these gray crisscross patterns, and you wanna make sure your image stays within this red box. Now that we have our page set up, we are ready to go ahead and start printing and cutting. So here's all of our images that we're going to be using for this layout. I'm going to go ahead at this time and ungroup these images. Now, basically, if you've used the instructions, you know what pieces go where. And you can group them however you want. Normally, on a traditional layout that I'm cutting with paper, I would group everything by color. Because what you want to do on a traditional layout is you want to go from your reds, group all of your reds together, cut them, group all of your blues together, cut them, group all of your yellows, and so on and so forth, so that way you minimize your cuts and maximize your paper. On print and cut, it's a little different because we're printing on white cardstock, so it really doesn't matter. So I'm actually going to be using the reference sheet um, instructions, and I'm going to be printing per each item. So let's go ahead and get our first mat set up, and we'll make our first cut.
printed all of our pieces and cut our pieces and even though this is a print and cut file I still like to add a little shading to all the cuts just to give him a little bit of color and look so I'm gonna go ahead and start shading all of these pieces once I've shaded all the pieces and got the color where I like them we will go ahead and put together the 6x6 Easter blessings and show you the finished product We have everything shaded now, as you can see over here everything's been shaded, so we can finally start putting this all together. The one thing I am going to add to this is in the kit came these flowers with tiny little brown dots, and I'm actually going to add little brads instead just to give it a little extra something. So I'm going to go ahead and add these brads as a final touch, and then we can actually build the rest of this page. One note on this silhouette page, since I did do it 6x6, everything of course was smaller, so you're going to want to take that into consideration when you're doing your cutting. You're going to want to slow down the speed if you haven't already. And I kind of showed you that in the video, but I just wanted to reiterate that since I made this smaller, obviously everything became smaller. We need to slow down the speed. If not, your cuts won't be as nice. So I'm going to go ahead and finish putting all these brads in and then I will show you how we construct the whole page. So now that I have the brads in my flowers here, we're ready to construct this. Now this is when you're going to want to pull up the, uh, the preview JPEG of the Easter Blessings, which is your final photo. And this way you can kind of have a good idea of what the finished look will look like. We're going to start with the title of the Easter Blessings Wreath. Um, so we're going to go ahead and work from the bottom up, following Nikki's instructions. And I use my AGT gun for this. And all of this was print and cut. I did some shading just because I like to shade my projects to give it some extra definition. Alright, so there is our base. And now we can bring out the flowers and the eggs that are going around the wreath. And then we will finish with the few sentiments. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of those positioned now.
finished product, you guys, there is our print and cut scrapbooking page that you can find at Paper Piecings by Nikki. Make sure to check out her website where you can find all the scrapbooking layout page kits at www.ppbndesigns.com. Make sure to head over to my blog and make sure you're following it. You can find that website at www.creativeken.blogspot.com and that's with K's for Creative Ken. And also, check out my YouTube page by clicking the subscribe button now. Make sure you like, share, and comment on all of my videos. Thanks for coming and looking at the project today, guys. Have a wonderful day.